Grab your pen and paper, folks, because I'm about to give you some great restaurants to try in Chicago. But before we get into the video, do me a favor and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you find it informative and also hit that like button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching and let's get into it. First up, we have breakfast. You can satisfy your morning cravings at the beautiful Nico, located inside the Thompson, Chicago. Nico is a cozy restaurant located in the lobby of the Thompson Chicago Hotel. They serve meals from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Sunday. They specialize in Italian seafood plus breakfast, lunch, and dinner daily. What I love about this restaurant is that the dining room is impeccably clean, warm, and inviting. We ate here for breakfast and really enjoyed the atmosphere. What I also love about Nico is the open kitchen concept, allowing me to watch my food being prepared. The chefs demonstrated impeccable cleanliness standards while preparing every single dish. We ate here for breakfast, which is served from 7 a.m. until 11 a.m. Monday through Sunday. Our favorite dishes included the American breakfast for $18 and brioche French toast for $16. The brioche French toast comes with a berry compote, whipped cream, and toasted pecans, while the American breakfast includes two eggs, breakfast potatoes, toast, and breakfast meat. Breakfast for two at Nico's typically costs us around $59 with beverages and tip. Everything we ate here was delicious. The customer service was top notch. The restaurant was amazing. And I highly recommend you check them out when you're in Chicago. For lunch, we headed over to number two on our list, which is Pat's Pizza and Ristorante. We love going to Pat's whenever we're in Chicago. They're a family owned restaurant serving thin crust and pan pizzas, plus Italian and American entrees. Pat's is located at 2679 North Lincoln Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, in the Lincoln Park area of Chicago. Pat's Pizza has been a family owned business for over 65 years, and it was originally established in the 1950s. And that's when they claim to have the best thin crust pizza in Chicago. And let me tell you guys, they mean it because it's so good. Whenever we're there, we usually start off with some appetizers or a side salad. And we order the thin crust pizza half and half. We do half meat and then we do half with pepperoni and bacon. And let me tell you guys, this pizza is so flavorful. I know you might be saying, hey, I thought Chicago was known for deep dish pizza, and it absolutely is. But I did a lot of research on YouTube and watched a lot of videos, and I learned that they are also famous for their thin crust pizza. Their pizzas have high quality toppings, and the taste is just 10 out of 10. And every pie is made fresh to order. So sometimes there is a little bit of a wait, but we don't mind at all because the pizzas are so good. They always come out piping hot and taste so delicious. So if you're ever in Chicago, make sure you give this place a try and let me know what you guys think of the pizza. Another option and number three on my list is Lou Malnati's Pizza. And this is home of the deep dish pizza because I couldn't come to Chicago without having deep dish pizza. For dinner, my husband and I ordered a small deep dish pepperoni made using mozzarella cheese topped with slices of pepperoni and vine ripened tomato sauce. Honestly, I was apprehensive about trying pizza made with the sauce on top of the cheese and sausage baked in, but I was glad I did. It was actually good in an unusual way. The pizza was more like a casserole that we ate with a fork rather than picked up like a New York style pizza slice. This style of pizza is just unique and it's not comparable to pizza I'm used to, but it's definitely an experience I recommend for anyone heading to Chicago. In total, we spent around $37 plus tip and beverages to feed myself and my husband. It took about 20 minutes from the time that we ordered for our food to get to the table. It was hot and steamy and it was so delicious, 10 out of 10. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing. Number four on the list is a place we visited for breakfast called the Cherry Circle Room. It is located inside of the Chicago Athletic Association, which is nestled in the heart of Chicago's bustling downtown. In fact, 
The Chicago Athletic Association is located directly across from the Chicago Bean in Millennium Park. And the restaurant is inside of the hotel, the Chicago Athletic Association. Breakfast at the Cherry Circle Room is served Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. through 11 a.m. And you can enjoy dinner there from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. Dining in the Cherry Circle Room feels like a journey back in time with its dimly lit, sophisticated ambiance that pays homage to Chicago's rich history. The hotel itself used to be an exclusive members-only club for upper echelon athletes. It was later remodeled into the current hotel that houses guest room accommodations and several restaurants. We picked this restaurant because it's so cozy and the dining experience feels elevated. Everything from the heavy silverware to the cloth napkins with unique prints were on point. Their breakfast menu offers classic favorites as well as inventive creation. For breakfast, my husband Jermaine ordered the Van Duzer for $17 and I ordered the Belgian waffle for $15. The Van Duzer breakfast includes two eggs, bacon, toast with fruit or hash browns. Jermaine decided to get the fruit. The Belgian waffle was a warm and fluffy waffle topped with strawberries and whipped cream. Next on the list is Shake Shack, which is also located inside of the Chicago Athletic Association. This is what we ate for lunch during our Chicago trip. We don't have this restaurant where we live, so we wanted to try it out. We ordered the Chicken Shack, which is a crispy chicken breast sandwich topped with buttermilk, herb, mayo, lettuce, and pickles. To that, we added two orders of crinkle cut fries. This was a great budget-friendly and fast option for antibiotic-free chicken that's fresh, never frozen, and hand-breaded to order. If you watched this far and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe now so you don't miss our next video.